This screencast is showing off the new module list module. The module list module allows you to see which modules have been installed and configured in your Magento system. Let's get started. For a couple of years now, there's existed this bit of lore in the Magento community about how to tell when a module is installed in your system. What you're supposed to do is go to the System Configuration Advanced tab and then look at the Disable Module Output option group. This group will list out all of the modules that are installed in your system. So you're supposed to look for your module in this list, and if it's here, it's installed. Now that's true, and it works, but that's not really what this screen is intended for. And it leaves you with a problem. What if your module doesn't show up in this list? What then? you're kind of left holding the bag and having to dig through code to figure out why. So what the module list module does is provides a centralized place where you can find which modules are installed in the system, as well as some useful additional information about the system, which will help you debug maybe why your module isn't showing up. Once you install the module, if you go to system, there'll be this new module list entry. Click on that and you'll get a list of all the modules. You can see over here on the left, it lists out uh, the module name. And the first difference is this will actually tell you which code pool the module is configured for. So we have the core code pool, which is, you know, the majority of the system that uh, ships. Then there's the community pool. And then there's the local pool. The next difference is um, there's this active column. This tells you if the module is active or not. Um, and by active, if you go to app, etc. modules, which is where um, these modules, which is where you configure a module for Magento, and you open up the XML file that um, configures a module, let's say, let's pick one, like, um, you know, Mage Bundle. If we open this up, there's this active tag. Um, active, if, it, if it's active, Magento will load this configuration file into the system and load the module. If this is set to false, that means the module is there and ready to be loaded in, but Magento doesn't do it. So that's the first thing you want to check. And this screen will actually show you which ones aren't. So for example, I have this um, alanstorm.com underscore installer module, which is something um, I was playing with a while ago. It's not an actual product. You can see the active uh, property for this is showing up as false. So if we go and we look at the app, etc., find installer, um, open it up, turn on word wrap. You can see active is set to false. So we, if we set this to true and then give our cache a little bit of clearing. I have a command line script to clear all my Magento caches, which I highly recommend if you're doing a lot of development. We reload the module list. And once Magento is done building everything up on my slow laptop hard drive, we can see that uh, the installer that's now showing up is true. Uh, the next column you'll get is this path column. This shows you the path where Magento thinks it should find the module. Um, it will also report, does this path actually exist? So interestingly, one of the core modules, mage underscore connect, there is no folder for this. Um, why this is, I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing that in order to get Magento Connect to work, uh, one of the core developers had to inject sort of a fake module in there, or maybe this is something old. Um, point being is, this will let you know, do you have your folder in the right place? It's very easy to accidentally put it in the wrong code pool or accidentally have, you know, up or down a directory or something like that. Similarly, um, there's a column that will tell you, okay, the folder exists, but did it find the modules config.xml file? So if we go down here, we see we have this blue ink underscore core module that I installed, I think, to help somebody out with uh, a coding problem. We go to app, code, local, blue ink, core. We can see there is an etc config file here. That's because it looks like this is a 
core override. But again, this is something useful that can help you figure out, is my module configured correctly? And along those lines at the bottom, um, there's some warnings that the system will throw out. Um, the first one is this inferred but missing concept. What that means is the module list module will go through your code pools and look at your folder structure and say, hey, like for example here, it infers the existence of a module named alanstorm.com underscore undelete block, but it hasn't found a configuration for it. This can let you know if you have misnamed something somewhere along the way. For example, this um, particular instance in my development environment, um, the undelete block, um, that eventually became the unremove block extension, but I originally named it the undelete block. So Magento is actually telling me, hey, this old folder is still kicking around. Or if you look down at this second inferred module, Magento has inferred the existence of a module called blue ink underscore ETC. That's because you have blue ink, but the etc. folder is in the wrong place. That's supposed to be in uh, side of a module. So because blue ink is the package, there's no module folder. So there's this etc. folder folding up here, which has inferring the existence of a blue ink underscore etc. module. So again, this is something that can help you with stuff is in the wrong place. And uh, the second warnings you'll get is this duplicate module folders section. This will tell you if there's an inferred module inside of multiple code pools. So for example, the one it's pointing out here is there's this core mage, the mage core module, but it's also showing up in the community code pool. That's because I just threw up a, uh, you know, I put mage underscore core in there to show off how this would work. This may indicate something's misconfigured or it may indicate a local override. Either way, you know, it's up to you to infer. That's why it's a warning. So it might be something that's normal for your system, or it might be something where you've put something in the wrong place, or, you know, someone else has put something in the wrong place. So that's the module list module. It's obviously in its early stages, but um, hopefully it can grow into something more. And even if it doesn't, um, I think it's a pretty useful tool for debugging what you're doing. This has been uh, Alan from Pulse Storm, and thanks for listening.